Tilapia is the easiest fish in the world to cook, and when you pan fry it, it comes out with the perfect flaky texture. I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And remember, if you love this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. The first thing we wanna do is make sure that our tilapia fillets are as dry as humanly possible. And the reason for that is any extra moisture that's on the outside of the fish is gonna keep it from becoming a really nice pan seared brown color when it hits the pan. And that's exactly what we want. So I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm just gonna blot up any extra moisture I can find. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. Next thing we're gonna do is season these fillets. I'm gonna first start with salt. And we're gonna apply the seasoning to both sides of the fish. And this is really salt and pepper to taste as much or as little as you want. Um, I'm gonna add a little pepper now. I'm also gonna be adding a little bit of garlic powder. Just about a teaspoon should cover about four fillets. I'm only doing three uh, right now because I don't wanna have any food waste and I think I'm only really gonna eat three tonight. So next we're gonna add a little bit of garlic powder. Teaspoon, three quarters of a teaspoon should be totally fine. This is the good life. And next we're gonna add a little bit of paprika. You can of course use smoked paprika if you like. Smoked paprika is really awesome. This is just regular paprika, which works great too. Paprika has such a distinct and great flavor to it. Um, but the thing that I love about it most with this recipe is that it's gonna give the fish fillets a really nice kind of deep red color when they hit the pan. Now I'm gonna flip these fillets over and season the other side. Next thing we're gonna do is dredge these fillets in some all-purpose flour. So let's take a half a cup, put it into, we're gonna put it into this shallow bowl. Let's kind of get it all mixed around nice and evenly here. And then we are going to take each fillet and lightly press it into the flour. You don't have to press it hard. We really just want a nice light coating of flour on these fillets. And then flip it over, let's do the other side. Just try to make sure we get flour sort of all over, even on sort of the inside pieces just in here. And then when the piece is done with the dredging, make sure, now this is really important, make sure you give it a little bit of tap and shake off any excess flour. You don't want a lot of um, excess flour hitting the pan. It's not gonna do anything good for you. So just tap it out and just shake it off here. There we go. All right, this is exactly how it should look. Get a shot of that right there. Now it's time to cook these tilapia fillets. And of course I'm using a cast iron pan to do that. I love cast iron because it cooks so evenly and that's very important for this recipe. First, we're gonna add two tablespoons of butter into this pan. Now we're gonna add uh, about a tablespoon of olive oil, but you can just do it to taste. It's just to keep the butter from burning. Let's move the butter and the oil around in the pan just a little bit so it's nice and evenly coated all over. All right, we're gonna lay down these fillets nice and gently, just like that. And the key here now is that once you lay down these tilapia fillets, do not move them until you are ready to flip them. If you move them, you're not gonna get quite as good of a sear as if you just leave them be. We're gonna cook this fish for about two to three minutes on each side. All right, these fillets have been cooking for about three minutes. Now it's ready for the flip. Let's see how we did here. Oh, oh no, oh. There we go, all right. Look at how beautiful this is looking. Come on, come get a shot of this. Look at how, look at this beautiful crispy texture we got on this fish. I better flip the other two um, before they start to burn, so let me do that. Man, these look so, so incredible. Oh yeah, look at that crispy texture. I'm on, get another shot of all three of these. Look at how beautiful those are. All right, so guys, the way that you know when these tilapia fillets are totally done cooking is you just take a spatula and you just poke a little bit 
at this part. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see in there, but see how the skin is just starting to flake just a little bit? That means it's cooked all the way through and they're ready to be taken off. All right, I cannot wait to give these a try. But before I do, if you love this recipe and you wanna see more just like it, check out my Healthy Recipes playlist. Okay, let's give these a taste. All right, let's see how we did. Mm. Oh, I just love a good whitefish so, so much. And this tilapia does not disappoint. The skin is super crispy on the outside. And there's just a ton of flavor from the seasoning. Guys, I know you're gonna love this one. You've got to give it a try. See you in the next video.